What's up guys, how you doing today? It's your boy Colin Osborne. And in this video, we're gonna be talking how to boost your website up so that it's a little bit faster. Customers are gonna enjoy the fact that they can go onto your website and don't have to worry about there being a slow speed. Let's just kind of talk about a little bit about exactly what a slow website means for your business. So if you're, and then in the physical sense, I'm gonna give you an example of a grocery store. So let's just say, you know, you decide to go to the grocery store and you wanna pick up some apples and bananas and strawberries and cucumbers or whatever the case is. You go up to the line and you go up to the line and that line is, you know, longer than, you know, it's just long. So after a while you get a little annoyed and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna go somewhere else. That's kind of the exact same way a website is when you, go on to it and it loads. Your customer is essentially gonna be like, I'm tired of this. I don't wanna have to wait this long and it's probably a better option. Maybe I drive five minutes down to the competitors and there's no line right there. Maybe they have some automated you know, service or whatever that you can just scan out and do that self checkout thing. So before I even hop in the video, I just wanna to, uh, remind you guys, make sure you go subscribe and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, um, you know, leave a comment down below um, if you find this valuable, if you have any uh, information on, you know, your business or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into computer and get started. Let's do it. All right, guys. So as like all of my videos, I ask everyone to go on to colinosman.com, go to the blog section, click on blogs right here see blog go read them go take a look okay there's a lot of good information on there um i created these for you and i want these to be utilized and there's a youtube video that's going to be coinciding with every single blog as you know the one that we're doing right now is quick ways to speed up your website so let's talk about just the dynamics of a website and why you end up having a slow website and I'm going to be giving you five tips and if you follow these five tips it'll be well on your way to a faster loading website all right so if you think about you know a car let's just give you an example I might fuck this example up but whatever you guys will get the point <laughs> you have a car and you start loading a bunch of shit on it like let's say I want to have you know a nice kit that I put on my Camaro. And then maybe I want to add a trailer on the back. And then, you know, and it's more features and it's cool and stuff like that. But eventually the speed of the car goes down because I have all this stuff that, I, that I'm adding on to it. When in reality, you were sold on the, I was sold on the simplicity of what it is to own and have a Camaro. Now, the one thing when I, when I talk about that, what I'm saying is with your website, focus on the simplicity of your business and what it, and how you speak to your customers when it comes to your website and having all these doohickeys and stuff like that, that really in, 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 in truly is just going to confuse your customers is, you know, something that I wouldn't recommend having. So my first tip is going to be optimize images and videos. For you optimize images, large images can significantly slow down your website. Try using image compression tools to reduce the file size without sacrificing quality. There is a website called compressor.io. I use this myself when, oops. And you could upload all your pictures and be able to compress those files so that you have a faster loading website. So please take a look at that. It's going to be very um, uh, valuable and it will help you slow, I mean, speed up your website. Moving along, enabling caching. Well, actually, let's talk about um, the plugins thing because I think that's extremely important as well, too. So um, with plugins, you know, as WordPress, like most people are probably, you know, I have a WordPress website. I think at one point it was like 80 or maybe 60 or 70%. It was somewhere around there of the world was using WordPress to manage their websites. You know, that's why Google really enjoyed 
having WordPress websites because they're the most trustworthy. Um, so with that being said, you had like, there's different plugins that you want to have on there. Like I remember when I had, had, I was using WordPress for my company website. I had Ninja forms, then I had gravity forms at one point. Um, I had a carousel plugin so that I could have a cool way of showcasing the plugin. And then I had, you know, video in the background and just a bunch of bullshit, you know, that just like didn't generate into anything, you know, didn't, didn't, it's not like someone came on there and was like, wow, look at this video, this marketing company sold me. And that's the one thing that, you know, I want to, you know, come clean with is that, you know, I, it's not like I knew it all either, but I understood, I decided to, instead of like trying to recreate the wheel, let's go see where the wheel was being created. I need to write that down and then steal it, copy the idea and make it into your own. So having all these plugins and all these other things, focus more on how do I get a website that is simple enough to provide all the information possible and gets my customer from point A to B as quickly as possible. And also this may seem kind of medieval, but how do I make the transaction of my business so efficient that like they don't even have to think it's just, Hey, I'm, you know, I'm taking your money today because if it's a subscription payment, you know, using Stripe or whatever, or, um, you know, having a website that's, you know, very direct in terms of what you're offering. So third, enabling browser catching. That's just essentially you're allowing a your website to be downloaded onto other people's computers so that they load quicker. So it's like your 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 computer isn't instead of it loading the website every single time, which, you know, is going to cause the person to, you know, depending on what internet they have or whatever, it's going to cause, um, you know, possibly slowdowns of speeds. Um, and that's just not something that you want to have to deal with. Cause once I talked about again, you know, with the grocery store analogy, if someone's in line and waiting for too long, he's going to go over to, you know, if he's in, um, food line, he's going to go to Safeway. I'm going to get muffins from Safeway even though I wouldn't recommend food line because their food is honestly trash or giants places trash too. Harris Teeter has the best, um, pastry section and the donuts are fire by the way. So if you're interested in that, go to Harris Teeter. Next tip four is use a content delivery network or CDN. This distributes your website static files across multiple servers reducing the load on any one server and improving the overall speed of your website. So keep that in mind. And tip number five, this is the final one, five right here. Finally, consider switching to a faster hosting provider. A quality hosting provider can make a big difference in your website load time. Sounds good, guys. So following these five tips, you can significantly improve your website's load time, provide a better experience for your customers. So guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button when pumping out more content like this, like it. And also I have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching consulting business where I provide online coaching consulting to small business owners. Um, there's a link at the bottom that you can click on. Come talk to me if you need help learning how to automate your systems and processes. If you're looking at possibly getting a CRM that you want to have a better understanding of managing, being able to efficiently use it and scale your business, I'm the guy for you. I'm going to be uh, dropping that link at the bio and also put it on the um, screen right here so you can see it. So anyways, guys, Hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you subscribe, like, drop a comment, and talk soon.